Zotac expects an RTX 3090 Ti. Should we all get fired up? Is this another model? Is there a 3090 Ti coming out? Well, if you see headlines like this, and I might even do that for this video, because, you know, it's eye grabbing or whatever. Um, I looked into what are the details here if you start seeing these rumors or people talking about this. And to me, this doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot. So what's going on here is that in the Zotac Firestorm overclocking utility, there's some references to a 3090 Ti. And this was originally discovered by, um, I believe it was some Japanese, yeah, Japanese PC Mania. I'll uh, link, you know, I'll have that um, uh, link here to this tweet. That's where we're seeing this. Um, but, okay, so, so what's going on here? Well, it appears like in this file, there's just, you know, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and a 3090 Ti. But when you actually look into the details here, there doesn't appear to be any particular information here about the 3090 Ti. To me, what this seems like is just like a symmetry in their naming scheme. So they're just like, okay, we're doing this for the 30 series. We got a 3070, a 3070 Ti. We got our 3080, we got our 3080 Ti. We got our 3090. Let's just have the file here for the 3090 Ti as well. I don't think this is by any means um, convincing evidence that there is going to be a 3090 Ti. Now, I'm also not saying that there isn't going to be one. I'm just saying that I don't think this is evidence of that that you should trust or get all worked up about. Anyway, what else is going on in news today since that only took us, what, less than two minutes? Um, so we do have NVIDIA officially announcing the RTX 30 series light hash rate series. And I'm guessing a lot of you who follow this stuff have already heard of this, had already been well covered and rumored that this was happening. But all it, all it is is basically saying, okay, we're gonna have our 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, all of our 30 series cards are going to launch with a hash rate limiter. Now, uh, should we care much? I guess the idea here again is that this is supposed to bring down the demand from cryptocurrency miners on these cards to hopefully increase the supply that's available to actual gamers and maybe decrease the price. Now, personally, I don't think this is going to have enough of an effect on the demand here to do anything for the prices. And, you know, you can dig into other various uh, opinions on this. I, I, I'm not super uh, strongly opinionated here. I'm like, okay, they're you know, limiting the hash rates. I have a feeling that this will get hacked or bypassed. And even if it doesn't, I don't think it's going to have that big of an impact on the market. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Okay, other news. Um, there's a leak from Patrick Shore, who leaks a lot of tech stuff and uh, has a fairly good um, track record from at least the ones that I've followed. And he's seeing some uh, evidence that AMD is working on two new models, a 16-core CPU with a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and boost up to 5 gigahertz, and a 6-core processor with a base clock of 3.7, boosting up to 4.6. Now, what's weird about that to me, as far as I can tell, and that seems to be the summary in the video cards article, is the 6-core processor doesn't really seem different than the 5600, um, but... Maybe I'm just wrong or re misreading this. I'm not an expert on CPUs exactly, but that seems the same. Now, this one, the 16 core part, does seem to be a 100 megahertz boost beyond where the 5950 XT goes. So, hey, maybe cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, make of that what you will. Again, links to everything in the um, description of this video. And the last piece of news I'll mention is that we've got new drivers from both NVIDIA and from AMD, it seems like the main reason these are being uh, launched right now is for Days Gone to get your, you know, day one support for that game. And as usual, there'll be a few, you know, fixed uh, issues as well as other known issues that you might want to keep an eye on as usual when installing a new driver. Okay, guys, short video today, but I do want to start getting uh, regular content out on a uh, yeah, more regular basis. <laughs> I, I took quite a bit of a break, 
for a while though, but school year is winding down for my job uh, teaching math, and I should start having a lot more free time to be getting some videos out. I'm feeling fired up about that again. Expect more content from me in the future. Feel free to subscribe to the content if you haven't, you're interested in PC tech gaming, all that kind of stuff, and I hope you have an excellent day.